Hello and welcome to the tutorial of how to create SFTP server on Ubuntu 10.04. My name is Reza Rahman and I'm from Super Technologies. Today I will tell you how to create a secure FTP server on Ubuntu 10.04. First you have to move on root by typing the command sudo space su and press enter. Now it is asking for your password. Now type password. Now move to the first tab which is to update your root by typing the command which is apt cat space update and press enter. Now to searching and downloading the available updates. After the updation complete, install open SSH server software. This software used for secure remote access to the system. In open SSH, SSH stands secure shell. Now install it by typing the command which is sudo space apt get install open ssh-server and press enter now it is downloading and installing the set of files now after that create a user group for sftp access it will then by entering the command which is sudo space group add space sftp only and press enter i have already created a group that's why it uh, shows it's already exist now run the command cat space slash etc slash group and press enter to display your new group it will be listed as a last entry 1001 is a group id of sftp now assign a username by entering a command which is sudo space user add space the username you want to set as go for abc space da minus d space slash space minus g space the sftp only group id which is 1001 space minus m minus n minus o minus u space again the sftp group id which is 1001 and press enter in this command type username for the password type sudo space pass wd space the username you were set in the above command and press enter now it is asking for the password type the password you want to set now again type the password to reconfirm and press enter make sure that password you enter are same on both places now type cat space slash etc slash password and press enter. It is now again showing the group list but with your username. There are 1001 twice times. It means you successfully set the password. Now copy the SSH config file to the config.bat by entering the command which is sudo space cp space slash etc slash ssh slash sshd underscore config space slash etc slash ssh slash sshd underscore d config dot back and press enter now to edit the ssh config file type sudo space nano space plus 76 space slash etc slash ssh slash sshd underscore config and press enter now we are on the editor here we replace some commands like change this line and replace by this command now move to the last page by pressing ctrl and v and copy this code and paste it here after the use plan and now save it
In the previous video, we have added the SSH config file. Now make the directory by typing sudo space mkdir space slash var slash www and press enter. Make sure you make the same directory which was given in the code you enter in the editor. Now move on the directory by cd space slash var slash www and press enter now make folder by typing the command sudo space mkdir space test underscore read underscore only and press enter now set the permissions to the file by entering the command which is sudo space chmod space 755 space file name test underscore read only and press enter you can you can change the permissions by changing the 755 you can google the permission list now make the another folder by entering the command which is sudo space mkdir space test underscore read write and press enter now transfer the ownership to the root by typing the command sudo space chowm space root column sftp only space test underscore read write and press enter now give permission to this file by entering the command sudo space chmod space 775 space test underscore read write and press enter similarly for creating third folder by tapping command sudo space mkdir space test underscore no access and press enter and give permissions to it by tapping command sudo space 73 chmod space 733 space test underscore no access and press enter now your SSS server is completely configured now restart SS server by entering command sudo space slash etc slash i am it dot d slash ssh space restart and press enter now the ssh software is restart now before move to the second step confirm your ip by entering the command which is ip space minus o space minus f space i n e t space a w d r and press enter it is showing your ethernet ip this is your ip now open the filezilla by clicking on the applications internet and then filezilla now click on the open site manager then click on the new site and then rename or set the name of your ftp site i set the super Now type the host IP address then port which is 21 is standard. Now select the server type SFTP. Now select the login type which is normal. Now select the username and then password and click OK.
in the previous video we have configured the filezilla now it's time to check the filezilla as ftp now in the host text field write your ip address and the username which uh, will you set in the configuration of ssh and the password now type the port 21 or you just leave it blank it doesn't matter now click on quick connect this method show you you are on sftp and this directory show you uh, you are successfully connected to the sftp thanks for watching the tutorial